Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I was in a dark place a few years, you know what I'm saying? And I had to give a special thank you. I will keep it 100 with you. All I was in a dim spot a couple of years, you understand what I'm talking about. And I need to give a unique thank out. Thank you, yell out. Thank you, all that affection. To I got to give a unique thank you, anxious um. And I told a puff about it. And he said, have them call me. So we FaceTimed. And they had their man talk. And he said, make it trustworthy, you all. This is like heading out to be an extraordinary film. Thank you kindly. I needed to ask you. I need Cassie's new misfortune suit. Has tossed the web into a furor. The vocalist had documented a lot of charges against her ex-chief and ex-boyfriend Titty. The previous couple who dated for a considerable length of time were remembered to have had a caring relationship. Yet Cassie's charges of terrible therapy paint a totally different picture. In the meantime, this has uncovered again the hypothesis encompassing Diddy's inclusion. In one more of his exes and mom, of his three youngsters, Kim Dorman's unexpected passing into 2018 in this video. We'll dive into every one of the subtleties investigating the claims against Diddy. So go along with us on the ride vocalist and entertainer Cassie, whose genuine name is Cassandra Ventura, is making a legitimate move against her ex-chief. And previous significant other, Shed Diddy Combs, charges incorporate long stretches of abuse and allegations of wrongdoing, which Diddy has purportedly denied in a new court documenting in Manhattan, claimed that Diddy prompted her into a showy, rapid way of life, ultimately prompting a close connection. This all started in 2005, when the pair initially met around then Cassie was only 19 years of age. And Diddy was 37 years of age. As per the claim, Diddy utilized his situation to take advantage of the more youthful vocalist by marking her to terrible kid records at 19 years old. By marking her to the record mark, Diddy had Cassie powerless to resist him, which was the reason she was unable to decline. When Diddy asked her out in 2007, out of dread of reprisal, Cassie guaranteed that during the relationship, Diddy used to compel her to participate in unlawful exercises with male specialists. While he shot them, she further asserted that Diddy would drive her to convey his gun in her handbag, which caused her to feel hazardous, and that he was more remarkable than she suspected. She expressed that she was in every case high on something during those periods to disassociate herself. Based on the thing was occurring the legitimate recording, likewise framed an occurrence, where Diddy supposedly constrained his direction into Cassie's loft after a supper, and attempted to compel himself on her in spite of her rehashed protests and endeavors to oppose one more record in the claim, portrayed an upsetting episode, where Diddy supposedly kicked her in the face steadily, even within the sight of his security group, endeavoring to intercede Cassie, asserted such activities, were a day-to-day -day event with witnesses, staying quiet out of dread the lawsuit, asserts that Diddy's conduct made Cassie experience the ill effects of PTSD and different circumstances. Because of the horrendous therapy, she encountered these claims are supported by Cassie's own associate, who really saw this occurrence. While he was working for her, it's all obvious I seen it with my own eyes. As her own associate, it was miserable to observe yet I'm blissful. She is great presently in standing up to conceal the results of these activities from the rest of the world, Diddy. Purportedly kept Cassie segregated in at HS for quite a long time, while her wounds recuperated talking on that rapper, Alia Banks affirmed that Diddy once sent Cassie on a getaway to Miami to recuperate from the unforgiving activities. She experienced him as per Alia Diddy wrecked her so seriously that he likewise needed to send her to Hawaii for a long time to recuperate. So nobody would address why her face was wrecked, Aaliyah. Composed this is valid one time, Diddy beat her up so awful he sent her on a three-week getaway to Hawaii. Just so nobody would see or address how her face got like that Cassie, guarantees that like numerous survivors of abuse, she turned out to be sincerely numb to the maltreatment and felt totally obligated to Mr. Combs, request the authoritative record, proceeded to say that Mr. Combs was very controlling, and checked M all Ventura's moves, frequently going through her telephone, 
and blaming her for unfaithfulness. As a feature of the claim, Diddy displayed serious desire when Cassie collaborated with different men. Cassie asserted that when Diddy discovered that she was sincerely engaged with Kids Die, in 2012 he took steps to explode Kid Size Vehicle in 2011 Cassie, asserted that she had a short relationship with the rapper Kid Say Diddy, purportedly mistreated her genuinely in the wake of finding this striking her multiple times and kicking her in the back as she endeavored to escape the next year. He purportedly took steps to obliterate youngster C's. Vehicle as retribution for the relationship around a similar time the suit said Q's vehicle detonated in his carport. Cutie affirmed the legitimacy of the occurrence through his representative who said this is all evident now. Cassie isn't the principal individual to denounce Diddy a terrible actual treatment. The recurrence of these claims has grabbed individuals' eye as of late and they are currently encouraging the police to resume the instance of his late ex Kim Watchman, as they suspect his inclusion at first ascribed to pneumonia. Kim's demise has started hypothesis that it was a cover-up, the unforeseen demise of the coroner Ed Winter, who was researching the case, additionally expanded the theory Ed Winter, kicked the bucket subsequent to detailing his discoveries of poisons in Kim's body, Right from the second, he recognized the poisons Ed was eliminated from the situation. And supplanted by one more coroner, the subsequent coroner raced out as it required 14 days to affirm Kim's demise by pneumonia and strange extended process. While formally credited to pneumonia, the primary coroner's report considered Kim's passing a manslaughter referring to poisons in her body as proof of harming what adds to the discussion is that not long before her demise, Kim was purportedly dealing with a detailed account book. Uncovering Diddy's privileged insights, she purportedly confronted abuse and substance-related control. By Diddy, like the cases made by Cassie, I suppose, is an oath to the courts you are aware of what she encountered. And it's like it was exactly the same thing. Kim was going through Kim's ex Al. be certain additionally, indicated the chance of her being killed when he posted a video of him crying with a subtitle. I just found this recording from the morning. I learned of it woman kips, otherwise known as hashtag Kim Watchman murder, and how it tore the spirit from my actual body. I did not know, I truly do know plainly that hashtag Kimberly didn't simply look at out of nowhere over pneumonia ALB. Additionally guaranteed, that Kim was on the run from a person or thing before she passed on, and that he had told her described in a now erased Instagram inscription to call the FBI just later did he add, rather that she was running a long distance race. This sounds basically the same as what Cassie claimed in the claim, looking at attempting to break liberated from Diddy, yet not having the option to in the meantime as per sources. Kim had truly cautioned Cassie to sever her relationship with Diddy and stay away from a similar destiny she had encountered Kim supposedly let Cassie know that Diddy was manipulative and destructive and that he would take advantage of his leverage to destroy Cassie's vacation, assuming that she left him anyway. Cassie was just 19 years of age at that point and Diddy was promising her a fruitful profession and a record bargain. It's nothing unexpected that Cassie might have neglected the warnings and remained with Diddy regardless of the admonitions in her claim. Cassie affirmed that Diddy had taken steps to repudiate her from the business, assuming that she stood in opposition to him or leave their relationship. I wasn't able to do what was generally anticipated of me not ability-wise, but rather in that frame of mind. As per the claim, Cassie felt caught in the relationship, accepting that expressing no to Diddy would cost her beginning and end she had, including her family companion's vocation, or even her life anyway. Diddy's group denied the claims, asserting that Cassie had recently attempted to coerce Diddy and was currently attempting to coerce him. His attorney put out an announcement that Reed Mr. Combs passionately denies these hostile and ridiculous charges for the beyond a half year. Mr. Combs has been exposed to Miss Ventura's relentless interest of $30 million under the danger of composing a harming book about their relationship. 
which was unequivocally dismissed as barefaced extortion, in spite of pulling out her underlying danger on Ventura, has now depended on recording a claim loaded with unmerited and preposterous falsehoods planning to discolor Mr. Cole's standing and looking for a payday anyway. Cassie's lawful group wasn't one to withdraw they discharged back a ditty, asserting that he had offered Cassie an installment of eight figures to quiet her and keep her from documenting the claim she dismissed his endeavors and chose to give a voice to all ladies who experience peacefully Cassie's legal advisor said this proclamation presented Diddy's endeavor to conceal the charges luckily. It's over now, Cassie is as of now, not powerless to resist Diddy she at last tracked down the boldness to leave. And in 2019, she wedded mentor Alex Fine. Anyway, everything isn't well for her, as the claim referred to the injury she has encountered because of her relationship with him, is plainly as yet influencing her profoundly and she is as yet managing the fallout of what occurred, as referenced before.